this is my bright idea for the webcast this week. I was going to take my iPhone 3GS outside, give it a try, and, uh, and see how the video worked out for the Pat's Papers Week in Review. It won't stop raining. It hasn't stopped raining all summer in New York. So here we are. The Week in Review on Pat'sPapers.com. We will begin in Sacramento, a story we put up on Friday, the story of the guy who bought some old records for a couple of dollars at a junk sale and then got a big surprise when he got home. It was a Sacramento Bee that reported that Paul Campfield was shopping around for a bargain at a local antique store when he discovered a crate of old vinyl records. They were priced at $2. He bought the records. He unpacked them a while later and saw a label on them. They originally belonged to his mother, who's been dead for 30 years. For Seinfeld fans, there was no better news this week than word that the entire cast has agreed to an unofficial reunion. The New York Post says they will appear with Larry David on five episodes of Curb Your Enthusiasm. So what if your name really was John Doe? The New York Times profiled a Korean immigrant who didn't realize what he was getting into when he Americanized his name. Airport security is a particular hassle, he says. If you can't find time to exercise, maybe you just have to exercise while you're doing something else. The Washington Post profiled the mothers who created Squeeze It In, a website full of ideas on how to exercise and do your chores at the same time. And if your dog growled when he saw you in your Snuggie, maybe it wasn't that he thought the blanket had eaten you. Maybe he just wanted one of his own. The Chicago Tribune unveiled the Snuggie for dogs. Those are some of my favorite stories from PatsPapers.com this week. Join us every day, Monday to Friday, when we run through the top headlines from U.S. newspapers on PatsPapers.com, and we put up the video once a week to look back at some of our favorites. Okay. That's it. Time to go inside.